Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Simon Leach. Welcome to the studio. Um, just got something I wanted to show with you, share with you. I'm inside actually at the moment in the uh, inside of my workshop. It's a bit cold outside so I'm, I'm back here on my other wheel. I want to show you how to make a small little three bowled salsa dish. Um, I've already made a couple there as you can see. Uh, what I'm going to do now is make the third one and then make the stalk which is going to be the handle. So just bear with me a moment while I just set up the camera here. Uh, oops, hang on a minute. Yes. Just make sure I've got it zoomed in on the right. There we are. Okay, I think we're there just about. Right, so without further ado, I'm going to, as you can see, I've made two little bowls push them together there. I'm now going to make the, the third one. So, now as I'm on the other wheel I haven't got it set up with the other big mirror but I'll leave that one outside. So centering up as usual. Um, these are small, basically small GP bowl. So we're lifting up the clay, nice round bottom. And now we're going to roll the rim. So just take the rim, slightly thin it, and then roll it over like that, and then take him down. Right, quick measurement. Looking good. Stick, now use your stick and t s clean off right the way down to the base of the pot, okay? No trimming with these guys. That angle there, you see, gets in right, can get right in down there and you can clean that right down into the base. Just be aware that when you do that though, it doesn't throw up a bit of a ruck on the inside of the, of the bowl. So I, that's why I keep my, my fingers here to stop that happening. What next? Leather? Yes, don't forget the leather. All right, let's cut him. Oh, sponge. Clean out the... Okay. Right, now we're gonna take that fella. Put that there like that. Now, this is a bit of good fun, you know. Take this and you're gonna we're gonna push it into there, you see a bit like that. Just have to sort of slightly slightly rearrange these. Okay, but the idea is that we do it while they're wet. We get a much better um, adhesion. You have to be a little bit All right, and then we go like that, and go like that. Now, I'll tell you the truth, I've never made one of these before. You may say, oh, but Simon, you have. We've seen it in your video clips. Well, kind of, but this has got a little twist to it, which we're going to make something. I'm going to make a different kind of handle for this one. Okay, so you see what I've done there? I've, I've joined them together like that right now. Another lump of clay, I'm going to smack him down. I can make now, make some kind of a, I'm going to throw off the hump. Ooh, I'm going to need a, a knife, a uh, blade of a knife. One of those knives outside there in a, so I'm going to try and throw this, this one off the hump. Okay, thank you. So, throwing off the hump, throwing a sort of tube up there. Now 
I'm going to leave it with a little bit of a flange there. As I say, I've never done this before, so I'll likely make a fool of myself. We don't worry about that, do we? Now, I want it to be a little bit elegant looking, so I'm going to collar it in a bit there underneath. Give it a little bit of... And I'm looking over, just looking over here to my left, just looking at the, the size, the proportions of what I'm doing. going to just close this in on itself. You see that? I've got my little needle here. A little blowhole there. Proportion is very important when you're doing these things, when you're putting on handles, that you don't make the thing. You don't want any, any part of the pot to draw undue attention to itself. You want the whole pot to be a one, one complete piece in itself, but not have any one, whether it be a handle or a knob or a lid or a foot or anything, to be excessively big. So as you see now, I've got a blade of a knife here. I'm going to put this blade in and I'm going to cut him off. Okay, I've cut him off. Put him there quickly. Maybe I'm working against the clock. Right? I don't know. What time is it? Okay. So now, here we are again. Back. Are we still in the picture? I hope so. Yeah, we seem to be in the picture, don't we, more or less. Good, right. Now, always good to attach everything while it's wet, if possible. So, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put him straight on there. Okay, now I, there's always a bit of a risk that you're gonna deform things a little bit. Um, when you do this, when, when you're working soft like this, there's always a little bit of a danger of, but you can always then go over it later on, you see, and um, come back to it a bit later, and sponge it over and make it look all neat and tidy. Now, I did this before with a kind of strap handle, but I, I just thought in the end, I thought it really needed a sort of central thing to lift it from the middle, like this. Now, as I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this, see what I'm doing, just a little bit of bit of leather there. This also in the middle here will help to sort of stick them all together. So now I'm looking at it and wondering about the proportions of that and make sure that it's it's straight, etc. Something to something to look at later on when it's a little bit drier and okay folks, well 
there we have it, a little um, salsa dish for sauces. No trimming necessary, all made and put together in one. Why don't you have a go? Take a walk on the wild side. We'll see you around. <laughs>